What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinBurtech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you how to get input from the console. So let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, import the scanner from java.util.scanner. That's where the scanner is located. So to do that we got to click on top of all the code here on top of the public class. And uh, we're going to type in import, I-M-P-O-R. RT here, then we're going to hit space, then we're going to type in java dot u t i l dot capital S C A N N E R, right? And it with a semicolon because it is a statement. So again, we're importing the java dot util dot scanner, capital S here, remember that, very important. Now down here, the first thing we're going to need to do, we're going to need to call on the scanner class. To do that, we're going to type in capital S, C, A, N, N, E, R, hit space, type in scanner, lowercase s, C, C, A, N, N, E, R, hit space again. We're going to type in equal symbol, hit space, type in new, all lowercase, hit space, type in capital S again, lowercase C, A, N, N, E, R, right? All right, open and close parentheses and end it with a semicolon. In between this open and close parentheses here, we're going to type in capital S, lowercase y, s, t, e, m, system, dot in, right? This is how we call the class. This is the scanner class. So again, we're going to type in capital S, lowercase c, a, n, n, e, r, space, type in scanner, lowercase, hit space, type in equals, hit space, type in new, lowercase, hit space, type in capital S, lowercase c, a, n, n, e, r, open and close parentheses, and then with a semicolon. And in between the open and close parentheses, we're gonna type in capital S, lowercase y, s, t, e, m, dot in. Now, let's type in a message to the user. Let's tell the user to input, let's say, a, a uh, string, right? So, we're gonna use the system dot out, dot print dot in. To do that, we're gonna type in capital S, lowercase y, s, t, e, m, dot out, dot print, l, n, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon. In between this open and close parentheses, we're going to type a message to the user in between a set of double quotes here. So let's type in enter a string, right? I'm going to leave a space here. So let's remember, space is a character so that when uh, the user enters a string, it'll print with a space so it won't be right next to this string here. So now that we got uh, gave the message to the user, let's invoke the scanner itself. To do that, first, you gotta, you gotta figure out uh, what input you're getting, whether it's string, integer, double, long, whatever. We're, we're gonna be getting a string, so we gotta type in capital S, lowercase t-r-i-n-g. We're creating a new variable, right? We gotta give our variable a name, name or whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine red. Then I'm gonna hit space. We're gonna use this equal here. Then hit space again, we're going to type in scanner, S-C-A-N-N-E-R, this is lowercase, dot, next. Then we're going to use, uh, if it's a string, we're just going to use this open and close parentheses here and end it with a semicolon, right? The user was going to enter a integer, then we would type in capital I and T after this next. If it was going to be a double, we would type in capital D-O-U-B-L-E. Next to this, but since it's a string, we, we don't type nothing, it's just next, open and close parentheses, and then we semicolon now. Now that that's how we invoke the scanner. So once we type this in, the scanner would be activated, It'll, it would prompt the user, or the, the user would have to enter something, and then we create a new variable. Whatever the user enters would be stored in this variable. Since uh, we're getting string data, that's why uh, we're using the dot next, open and close parentheses, and then with a semicolon. So now let's hit play, let's see what happens. So enter a string, right? So we're gonna type something, I'm gonna type in five. And I print it out five. So let's try something else. Let's enter a, another message here. Let's use the system that out that print that line again. Let's type in capital S, lowercase y, S, T, E, M, dot out, dot print, L, N, open a close parentheses, and then do a semicolon. Let's, let's uh, print back whatever the user entered. So let's say you, Entered, entered, let's make this capital E. And we typed a new enter, we can hit space because remember space is a character. And this has to be in between a set of double quotes here. Since it is a string, 
So we're going to type in uh, you entered. Now let's copy this here. I'm just going to copy it right here. I'm going to paste it underneath. Uh, let's paste it here. And let's replace this here with the variable that we want to print out, which is uh, red, right? Red holds the input value. So I'm going to just fix this up here. So let's start from the beginning. We imported the Java that you told the scanner because that's where the scanner is. Then down here, we uh, we called the, the class. We called the scanner class right here. To do that, we typed in capital S, lowercase c-a-n-n-e-r, hit space, lowercase scanner, equals new, scanner, open and close parentheses, system dot in, right? So then we uh, printed a message to the user to enter a string. Underneath that, we invoked the scanner and created a new variable, a new string, uh, a variable that will store the uh, the input, right? So down here, we entered another message to the user telling them you entered. Then underneath that, we printed out the user input. So let's hit play. So let's enter something. I'm going to enter, let's say, four. Let's click down here. So I'm going to enter four. I'm going to hit enter. And, and it printed out you entered. And it printed out whatever I entered here. So pretty neat, right? So let's try something else. Let's change this into a, let's say, integer. So let's type in here I-N-T-E-G-E-R, right? Integer. Let's change this here so it's dot next. Next to dot next here, we got to type in capital I and T because it's going to be an integer. But then we got to change this here, the data type to int. Now, now the data we're going to get is an integer. Let's hit play here. And Let's click down here, enter an integer. So I'm going to enter five. I'm going to hit enter. You entered five. So that's pretty much it. So again, if so, if, if you want uh, different types of data, let's say you want uh, long, you replace the int with long. That's it. It's capital L, lowercase o n g. You replace the int with long here, l o n g, right? And you replace uh, whatever you need to replace with. Uh, with the long, if you want double, you type in double. If you want short, you type in short. Depends on what, what type of data you want the user to enter. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.